Hello, this is Jo from Math Tutor Me. Today we're going to be doing some percentages and we're going to be looking at converting between fractions, decimals and percentages. Now when you're doing percentages questions, you can be doing them with the calculator or without the calculator. Today the questions that I'm doing, I'm going to do with the calculator and I will be doing some videos that you can look at later on about how to do some of these things without a calculator. So what you need to know about a percentage is that a percentage is always out of 100. And you can actually remember that by thinking about the percentage sign. The percentage sign is a 1, if you put it on a bit of a slope, with a 0 and a 0. 1, 0, 0 is 100. They've just kind of put it in a weird way. But a percentage sign is actually 100. So hopefully that can help you remember that a percentage is always out of 100. So I've drawn a little diagram here for you to help you to know how to convert between fractions, decimals and percentages. Now fractions and decimals are actually different forms of writing the same thing. A fraction of a half is the same as a decimal of 0 0.5. They have the same value, they're just written in a different form. So they are over here on this side of my diagram together because they have the same value, we're just changing the way that it's written. But to convert from either of those to a percentage, we have to times by 100, if you follow this arrow here, times by 100 to turn it into a percentage. If I want to go from a percentage back to either a fraction or a decimal, you would divide by 100. Okay, so you can use that when you're doing these questions to help you remember what to do. So here is a few questions. Convert these fractions into decimals. So we're not actually doing any percentages yet. I just wanted to practice going between the fraction and the decimal here. So using your calculator, hopefully you have a scientific calculator of some kind. Type these fraction, this fraction here, 3 over 8, into your calculator. On my calculator, the fraction button is right here. Okay, let me just clear that. Okay, I want to put the 3 on the top and the 8 on the bottom. If I press equals, my calculator puts the fraction over here, 3 over 8. Now to turn that into a decimal, your calculator will do that just by pushing this button here, the SD button. It will change it as many times as you like between a fraction and a decimal. Okay, some calculators might automatically go to the decimal. You just need to know, learn what your calculator does um, so that you know what to do. So pushing that button, it changes it to be 0.375. As a decimal. Okay, again for the second question, I have a mixed numeral. So this button up here, if I press shift there, there's my mixed numeral. I need to have that little box out the front. You can't just put the two out the front and then have the little fraction sitting after it because otherwise that will multiply them together. So you need to have this one that has the three boxes. So the two goes out the front. 4 on the top and 9 on the bottom. Press the equals. Mine has actually changed that into an improper fraction. I don't want that. I want a decimal. So again I push this button and it changes it into a decimal for me. So because it's a recurring decimal I can write that as 2.4 and the little dot above means 4 repeating. Okay I can go in reverse. In question 2 it wants to convert these into these decimals here into fractions. So all I have to do is type in 0 0.36. If I press equals, my calculator changes it automatically into a fraction. If yours doesn't, you push that button again and it will change it for you. So that changes it to 9 over 25. Okay, same thing for the next one. I just type in 2.14. If I press equals, it changed it straight into a fraction. It's an improper fraction, so perhaps I should change that into a mixed numeral. So I press shift and my button there, that SD button. Then that changes it to be 2 and 7 over 50. 
Okay, so that was just a little bit of practice changing between fractions and decimals. Now let's use our diagram up here. We want to convert the percentage to a fraction and a decimal. So I have three different percentages here. Let's start with 15%. If I have a percentage and I want to change it to a decimal or a fraction, I have to divide it by 100. So here I have 15%. If I divide it by 100, my calculator gives me a fraction, which is 3 over 20. Okay, if I want the decimal, all I have to do is push my button, which is 0 0.15. Alright, let's do it again for the second question. I have 2.8 as a percentage. I want to change it to the fraction decimal side. So I need to divide it by 100. 2.8 divided by 100 equals. My calculator gives me the fraction straight away. If I push the SD button, it will change it to be 0 0.028, which is the decimal. Okay, and one more. 105 and a half. So it's a mixed numeral, 105 and 1 over 2. Okay, there it is. Now I need to change it into a fraction or a decimal, which means I need to divide it by 100 equals. Oh, I typed in time, so let's try that again. Divide by 100 equals. Okay, the fraction is 211 over 200, that's an improper fraction because it's over 100%. I could change that to be a mixed numeral, which is 1 and 11 over 200. Or I can change it to a decimal by pushing this button here. 1.055. All right. Now in question four, I'll put this down here so we can see a little conversion graph here. I want to convert each of these things here to a percentage. I have some fractions and I have some decimals. If I want to change from a fraction or a decimal to a percentage, I must multiply by 100. So, 3 over 4 multiplied by 100. My fraction button, 3 over 4, multiplied by 100, equals 75%. Okay, 1.45, to change it to a percentage, I multiply by 100. And you probably know, without the calculator, that's going to be 145%. 3 and 1 twelfth. 3 and 1 over 12. To change it to a percentage, I must multiply it by 100. Let's change it to be a mixed numeral. So I get 308 and 1 third percent. Okay, and one more, 0 0.03. Multiply that by 100. Okay, it's going to jump over two places, which is going to be 3%. All right, down the bottom, question five here. It says, write in order from smallest to largest. I have a fraction, two thirds, a decimal, 0 0.64, and a percentage, 61%. Now, to compare these, it's easiest if they're all in the same form. And probably the easiest one to compare is either the decimal or the percentage. Fractions can be a little bit harder to compare um, because you often have different denominators. Okay, so I'm going to change them all to be decimals. Now 2 over 3 is a fraction. All I have to do to change a fraction into a decimal, type it in the calculator and push my button. So that one there is actually 0 0.66 Six, 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 it's going to keep going forever. It's a recurring decimal. This one is already a decimal. The percentage, 61%. 
To change a percentage to a decimal, we have to divide by 100. So you go 61, divide by 100 into a decimal, push the button, 0 0.61. Now we can see 0 0.6666, 0 0.64 and 0 0.61. We can put them in order from smallest to largest now, but it's very easy to see. Um, they all have a 0.6, but this is 0.61, so this is going to be the smallest. Now when you write them down in order, you should write them in the way that they were originally written. So I'm not going to write 0 0.61, I'm going to write 61% is the smallest, because that was what my question was. The next smallest out of these two, 66 or 64, 64 is smaller. So 0 0.64 means this one is the biggest, but we need to write it in the original form, which means 2 over 3. So that is now in order from smallest to largest. Okay, so now it's time for you to have a practice to see if you can remember what we've gone through in this lesson. So to help you out, I've got a little remember box here. If we want to convert our fractional decimal to a percentage, we multiply by 100. If we want to go from a percentage back to the fractional decimal, we divide by 100. So you can look back at this diagram as you're doing these questions to help you. So pause the video, grab a pen and paper, and try each of these questions and see how you go. Then unpause the video and we'll go through the answers together. Okay, question number one. I want to write 6.2 as a fraction. Fractions and decimals, I don't need to multiply or divide by anything. I just need to use my calculator to help me change this to a fraction. So type it in, press the equals. It's given me an improper fraction. So I can press shift, SD button, and I get 6 and 1 fifth. Now I want to write in question 2, write 14 over 50 as a decimal. So type in the fraction 14 over 50, press equals, it simplified it but it's not a decimal. I need to press this button to change it into a decimal. So it's 0 0.28 as a decimal. To convert 197% to a decimal, a percentage to a decimal, I want to divide by 100. So you can type it in if you like, 197, divide by 100. Make sure it stays, we'll leave that as a decimal. So 1.97, let's just jump back two spots. Okay, now question four, convert 6% into a fraction. I still want to divide by 100, but I want my answer as a fraction this time. So 6 divided by 100 equals, and the calculator has simplified it for me, 3 over 50 as a fraction. How are you doing so far? Let's have a try with question 5. Convert to a percentage. So we're going from a decimal and fraction to a percentage, you want to multiply by 100. So 0 0.34 multiplying by 100, it's going to jump over two spots, we can do it on the calculator, will be 34%. 2 and 1 over 10, to turn that into a percentage, you may want to use the calculator for that one. So 2 at the front of the mixed numeral, 1 over 10, there's the fraction typed in. I need to multiply by 100, equals 210%. And for your very last question, we want to write in order from smallest to largest, 149%, 14.6, and 1 and 4 ninths. So let's do like we did last time and change them all into decimals. 149%, to change it to a decimal, I need to divide it by 100, which will give me 1.49. This one is already a decimal. This one, 1 and 4 ninths as a decimal. 1 and 4 ninths equals, to make it a decimal, push the button, 1.44. 
repeating. So this one's actually quite a bit bigger than all of them. It's definitely the largest. The smallest one is this one, 1.44. So one and four ninths is the smallest. Then 1.49, which I should write 149% is the next biggest. And the largest one is 14.6. All right, hopefully you got all those questions right. It's time for you to go and find some more questions, keep practicing, and I'll see you next time for my next video on percentages. Bye.